Tom Duty, middle-aged American living in New Jersey near the Lincoln Tunnel. If you were to visit my website, you would type Howdy Duty into Google. You'll find the correct spelling of the famous puppet. You then combine Tom Duty in a Google search for my site from the book 1912. Wilson Roosevelt Taft and Debs, the election that changed. The Country by James Chas. Page 159, on August 7th, a large crowd assembled on the lawn at Seagirt to listen to Wilson's message. The acceptance speech was a serious one, leavened by a little humor and no bombast, leaving the well-wishers and dignitaries restless and bored. It read better than it sounded, the nominee generally endorsed the Democratic platform, but did not mention its call for single term, nor did it announce that he would destroy the great trust, promising only to deal effectively with the problem of trust regulation, whatever that meant. But he did stir up the torrid throne by one palpable hit at Roosevelt. There is, he declared, no indispensable man. A few hours later, the indispensable man himself would stand before the crusading progressives gathered in Chicago to accept their nominations for president. This has been Tom Duty, middle-aged American living in New Jersey near the Lincoln Tunnel. If you were to visit my website, you would type Howdy Duty into Google. You'll find the correct spelling of the famous puppet. You then combine Tom Duty in a Google search for my site. Thank you for listening. Have a good day, good evening, or restful night's sleep. Ciao.